Hello Michael, um, this is just a video to show you how we actually perform the test and I will actually run both the LY4 and the LY4D for these as well. So what we've got here is a 24 volt power supply. Um, now it is capable of doing 1 amp, I've actually limited to 1 amp but I'll just turn this on you see there's your milliamps, 0.68 milliamps which is what the specification sheet shows as far as current draw. So I've turned that off. Now what we've got is we've got the power supply going to the relay itself here. So what we've got, I'll just get something to point with. We've got a power coming in on, um, let's just have a look, that would be pin uh, 14 and, and going through the coil going to 13. So essentially it's just passing through 14 and 13. Um, being a coil, it really probably doesn't matter which way it is, um, unless you actually have the diode here, which obviously will, you know, you need to make sure that the positive and negative is correct. So 14 should be positive and 13 should be negative. Um, that's because the diode's there. But, uh, you know, we've got this set up. So anyway, it's set up so it can actually switch. So as uh, what I've actually got here as well is the power is actually running through this little switch which is exactly the same switch as you have in the joystick. The only thing that's missing out of the circuit is the MOSFET which effectively would be running through in this circuit anyway so the switch is controlling the MOSFET um, but just for the sake of the exercise I'm just showing how that this is actually being broken by the switch. So effectively what we're going to show you is the um, difference with a diode and without and what you can actually have and maybe why the actual diodes failed in the operation that you had. So um, when I press the switch you'll hear whoops that actually yep that you'll hear the actual um, relay click so you can see it's working and on the power supply you see the current go up. Now this is what it looks like on an oscilloscope so what we're going to do is zoom in a little bit there you go. Actually, yep, that should be enough. So you can see the voltage go up. Now it's 24 volts. You can only see it go up a little bit. That's because um, what we've got here is the division is actually 100 volts per step. So when I press the button, you can only see it go up a little bit. The reason why I want to show you is that when I capture the spike, so this only goes up to about here. As you can see, that's roughly 24 volts in reference, and you just saw a spike there when I released the coil. So as I'm pressing you might be able to see that there's these spikes and things showing up. These are actually what happens when you press the button nothing happens but when you release it you get that spike and the way it's created is the actual um, energy from the coil is pushed back that's why the spike is in a downwards direction more than it is in the upwards. So I'm going to set my oscilloscope to a single capture what it's going to do is actually capture that one spike and there it is there. So it might not look like much because it's quite quite narrow but when we zoom in on it you can actually see that there's quite a lot of noise there and um, the way you would read that is you would essentially look at how many divisions there are in this voltage. So this is 100 volts, 200 volts, 300, 400, so it's about 450 volts in a negative and probably about 200 in the positive if we align this a little bit. So we actually have quite quite a massive spike. Now, granted that this is actually only happening probably within sort of 100 to 150 microseconds, so there isn't a lot of energy associated with it, but it's actually the over voltage that you know, is going to be hitting the MOSFET that would be causing the issue. So, you know, it might work for, you know, quite a number of operations and then all of a sudden that MOSFET has just had enough of being belted with so much voltage and therefore it, um, it will essentially fail. So I'm going to pause the video now and um, show you what it looks like with the diode in place. So I'm going to now um, put in the LY4D and show you what the difference is.